Is there any such thing as a normal period? Nobody ever goes to see their doctor about painful sex and I'm so glad that you came to talk to me about that. <laughs> I'm Dr Erin Gordon, an Australian GP. I'll be answering your questions about endometriosis. Incredibly, one in 10 women in Australia are affected by endometriosis. As anyone who has it knows, endometriosis is far more than just a bad period. So let's talk about this mysterious disease and what can be done about it. Although I'm referring to women in my responses, I do recognise that there are people who have a uterus who don't identify as women who will be experiencing the same issues. Endometriosis is a condition where cells that mimic the lining of the uterus actually exist outside of the uterus. So that can be on the uterine wall or in the bladder or even in the bowel and often over the ovaries and within the abdominal cavity itself. Normally, once a month, we shed the lining of our uterus and this is what we call a period. The problem with endometriosis is that those little groups of cells that are existing outside the uterus try to shed, but there's nowhere where those cells can go, which then can leak fluid and cause lots of local inflammation, leading to scarring and intense pain. Women can experience a vast array of different symptoms and these include painful urination, pain when they're passing a bowel motion, pain during sex, uh, it can cause bloating, nausea, heavy periods, irregular periods, the list goes on. Hi, uh, I'm Leila from Sydney. I'd like to know what the prospects are fertility wise for women who've had endometriosis for a long time and are a little bit older, such as in their mid to late thirties. That's a really good question, Leila. Thank you very much for sending that in. It is thought that up to 50% of women who have fertility issues have actually got endometriosis. And this is because the endometrial lesions have caused scarring over time, which then interferes with our reproductive system. Reassuringly, around 70% of women with endometriosis will go on to have a baby, sometimes with the assistance such as IVF. However, if you're in your mid-30s and you have been trying for a few months, it's so important to make sure that you get that referral to the specialist. So back in the good old days of the 50s and 60s, that was actually the recommendation for endometriosis was get in early and do it as many times as you possibly can. <laughs> During pregnancy and immediately after pregnancy, your hormones are being suppressed and the lesions aren't responding to hormonal surges, which means they're not causing any symptoms. Painful sex it has such a huge impact on so many aspects of our lives, on sexual relationships, relationships themselves, self-esteem, body image, and has an impact on our mental health. The reason that it is part of endometriosis is those lesions that are sitting outside of the uterus, in the pelvic wall, on the bowel. Every time there's penetration, those lesions are being pushed and poked and prodded and causing immense pain for women. Some women find actually that different sexual positions actually improve the pain, such as being on top, because you can control the depth of penetration. <laughs> I went to say the rate of penetration, the depth. Ultimately, the only way we can really diagnose is referring you to a specialist called a gynaecologist who can then do something called a laparoscopy. They can do different therapies such as burning tissue or taking biopsies or excising it completely. I am just recovering from my second ever lap. Uh, so lap is referring to laparoscopy. And the question that I've always wanted to know about endometriosis is why is there no cure? Because we don't really know that much about the disease, then we haven't developed a cure as yet. Research shows that there may be a genetic link and treatment is really focused on its symptom improvement and making you feel better. Now, some of these treatments include referrals to different allied health professionals, such as psychology, osteopathy, physiotherapy, dietetics, and also we can refer women for things such as naturopathy and massage therapy. And then we start to move into over-the-counter treatments for pain control, and then also hormonal treatments that can be offered by your GP, such as the contraceptive pill or an IUD or intrauterine device. And then finally, let's not forget, surgery is another option. This can be a successful procedure. However, the disease can recur, meaning some women may need a repeat laparoscopy. What I would like to know about endometriosis is, are there actually lifestyle or food changes that we can make in our life that can help treat or prevent endometriosis? 
I wish I had a magical answer for this. But again, it's trying to work out what works best for you. Some women find improvement with things such as hot oil rubs or back massage. Other women find exercise and yoga might really improve their symptoms. As for diet, some women report improvement of symptoms if they go gluten-free and others if they go purely plant-based. There is increasing evidence showing that the IBS diet called FODMAPS can lead to some symptom improvement as well. So JC, ultimately, the thing that really comes to light here is that endometriosis is such a variable and individual disease. And the important thing is, is we keep trying until we find the plan that works for you. What's been really fantastic is the advent of social media has really lent itself to sufferers of endometriosis being heard and sharing stories and not feeling alone. And hopefully with all of this growing awareness, it's going to eventually lead us to a cure. I love answering your questions about endometriosis, but I can only really give generalized advice. So the important thing is go and chat to your doctor if you've got any questions or if you're worried. Doing things such as keeping a symptom diary, writing down the things that you're experiencing and how it's impacting your day-to-day -day life and taking that to your doctor can often aid those conversations. And don't forget to hit subscribe.